parsha, we learn about the story how the Jewish people transitioned from an area of slavery in Egypt to free men, and how Moshe went ahead and uh, led the Jewish people during that transitional period through seven of the take, ten plagues that are recorded in this week's parsha. And God gives Moshe messages of encouragement and hope as he asks Moshe, Moses, to deliver these messages of hope and encouragement to the Jewish people, and then to take those messages further to the Pharaoh. What's really interesting is he not only talks about them leaving the land of Egypt and going into the desert, but ultimately coming to the promised land, the land of Israel, and he identifies the land of Israel with an interesting name known as Amorasha. Amorasha uh, is loosely translated in English as a heritage, but some of the commentaries point out this is different than a Yerusha, which is an inheritance, and I'll explain it in the following manner. An inheritance, if you go ahead and inherit assets from someone that has left it to you, you can do with it whatever you want. You want to go ahead and uh, do donate it to a hospital, you want to go ahead and uh, donate it to another worthy cause, you want to go ahead and blow it in Vegas, it's your choice. That is an inheritance, not so much a morasha. A morasha is a heritage. We must go ahead and treat it in the same pristine way it what we received it. We cannot go ahead and uh, uh, alter the mission of what we inherited. Rather, we can just go ahead and treat it with the same respect, with the same instructions that it was given to us. There are two things in the Torah that are identified as a morasha. One is the Torah itself and also the land of Israel. Both of these special gifts are something that we cannot go ahead and alter. We can't go ahead and reform it. We must go ahead and treat it with the same sanctity and uh, the specialness with the way we received it. And so too with the land of Israel. And we have to ask ourselves, how are we doing in terms of making sure that Moor Shah is insured? Folks, in our lives, it's important many times to reflect internally and realize what are those pristine messages or missions that we inherited from our ancestors and how are we going to pass those down to our descendants have a wonderful show